lifting the truck using some rock climbing webbing, which is great for a lot more weight than the truck is. So we should be good for that. And I'm just sitting on a stool right now because it's a bit of an awkward position to be in. But basically, I'm going to stand up like this. And I can't stand up because it requires picking up the truck. But hopefully, when we turn those cylinders on, we'll lift the truck. But in the meantime, I'm going to get out of this so we can test it without me inside, just in case something has dropped cabinets, which is why we've got to attach this piece of wood. That was the easiest to ever come out. But it needs my boots. I'm going to put in the invisible man to uh, wear the extra kilt. All right, there we go. The uh, humanless exoskeleton. Fully self supported. Final adjustments. And then we'll try lifting the truck as is. So the truck has a lot of suspension, so we probably won't actually lift it off the ground completely, but that'll work for the purpose of our test for now. To do the actual lift, we're gonna have to hold the suspension down on the truck in order to be able to pick it up. All right, so we've engaged the cylinder slightly. Truck goes on the ground, but you can see the suspension's been lifted up quite a bit. Oh, there we go, a bit more. All right, so to get rid of the uh, suspension problem, what we've actually done is we stood in the back of the truck and then use ratchet straps to tie down the axle to the suspension. So now the back of the truck doesn't have any suspension, which means when we use the axle to lift it, we can actually lift the truck off the ground. So let's go ahead and try that. Nice. We're a few inches off the ground on the right side. Kind of hard to see this camera. Is that all the way up? No. Nope. Go a bit more. Oh yeah, there, a few inches. Oh god! Alright, so we, we found one problem. When you lift up the truck too high, uh, it wants to swing back and forth a bit, which is a bit scary because then the cylinders kind of angle left and right. So for now, we're thinking we might just need two spotters on either side of the truck to ensure it doesn't tip too far. They won't be helping lift the truck, just stop it from sliding left to right. Alright, so we're going to do one more test without me in it. So we're at the Daily Planet now. And oh, which one of you guys is James? Hi. Yeah, how's it going? Not too bad. Wow, you got a whole crew. Yeah. Okay, so, um, hey, did you come into our studio before? I did. Yeah, right, right. Welcome to Daily Planet, I'm Zaya Tong. And I'm Dan Riskin, and this is James Hobson, or as we like to call him, our own personal Iron Man. Hey.